Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll see hands-on lab 5, build a serverless architecture. So the AWS solutions architect increasingly adapt event-driven architecture to decouple the distributed applications. And often uh, these events must be uh, propagated in a strictly ordered way to all the subscribed applications. So uh, using the Amazon simple notification service, which is Amazon SNS uh, and uh, Amazon SQS, which is Amazon simple queue service queues, we can you know, address uh, use cases uh, that require end-to-end -end, uh, message ordering and uh, deduplication, filtering and encryption. So in this lab, uh, you know, we'll configure an Amazon S3 simple storage service, the S3 bucket, to invoke an Amazon SNS notifications whenever an object is added to the S3 bucket. And uh, we'll learn how to create and uh, interact with the SQS queues. And also we'll learn how to invoke an AWS Lambda function using Amazon SQS. And uh, this scenario will help, you know, to understand how we can architect our application to respond to the Amazon S3 bucket event using the serverless service such as Amazon SNS and uh, Amazon Lambda and Amazon SQS. So we'll be you know, covering um, uh, some of these following objectives in this hands-on lab, like understand the value of decoupling resources, understand the potential value of replacing Amazon EC2 instances with the Lambda functions, and create an Amazon SNS topic, and uh, how to create Amazon SQS queues, and then create event notification in Amazon S3 and uh, AWS uh, Lambda functions using pre-existing code and uh, invoking the uh, AWS Lambda function from the SQS queues and monitor the AWS Lambda S3 function through the CloudWatch logs. Okay, uh, let's assume the scenario like uh, you have been tasked with the evaluating and uh, improving an event driven architecture. So currently customer care professionals uh, take a snapshot of product and upload them into a specific S3 bucket to store the images. And uh, the development team runs Python script to resize the images after they are uploaded into the ingest S3 bucket. So uploading a file to the ingest bucket will invoke an event notification to the Amazon SNS topic and uh, the Amazon SNS then will distribute the notifications to three separate uh, SQS queues and the initial design was to you know run ec2 instances in auto scaling groups for each resizing operation but after uh, you know reviewing the initial design we recommend replacing the ec2 instances with the lambda functions so here the lambda functions will process the stored images in three format and uh, store the output in a separate S3 bucket. So, you know, we can propose this design in most effectively, as you can, uh, you know, uh, see in this diagram, the workflow. So it will be like, uh, first we upload an image file to the S3 bucket, and uh, uploading a file to the ingest Folder in the bucket which invokes an event notification to the Amazon SNS topic 
and uh, the Amazon SNS then uh, distribute their notification to three separate queues. As you can see, Q1, Q2, Q3. And the Lambda functions process the images in three format and store the output in the S3 packets. Then we uh, you know, validate the processed images in the S3 bucket folder and the logs in the Amazon CloudWatch. Okay, so I have logged into the AWS management console. So in task one, we'll create a standard Amazon SNS topic. So in the AWS search bar, you can type a simple notification service and choose this one. Okay, here you can click on topics and uh, click create topic. Okay, on the create topic page, uh, under the details section, for the type, you can choose standard. And here you can enter the unique SNS topic name. For example, I'm typing resize image topic. And we'll put some random number. Okay, and uh, you can click on create topic, leaving the other details, uh, you know, default. Okay, so uh, here the topic created uh, successfully. We can see the uh, topic name that we have provided. And here we can see the uh, ARN and uh, the topic owner. You know, we can just uh, copy this to uh, information that we would, you know, require later. Okay, next uh, in task two, we'll create three Amazon SQS queues. So, okay, in this task, uh, let's create uh, three Amazon SQS queues, each for a specific purpose, and then subscribe the queues to the previously created this SNS topic. Okay, so uh, let's create the uh, as a SQS queue. So you can type for a simple queue service. Okay, here you can click on create queue. Okay, so the type you can, you know, keep it a standard and enter the name like thumbnail q okay and click on create create q okay so we have created the thumbnail q and uh, next uh, we'll subscribe the SQS queue to the SNS topic. So here uh, you can see that uh, subscribe to Amazon SNS topic. Click on that and then you have to choose the topic. Okay, here you can choose a resize image topic. 
that uh, you know we have created previously under the okay and click on save okay now uh, the sqs queue is now subscribed to the sns topic named resize image topic okay as you can see it here okay next uh, we'll create two more uh, sqs queues and uh, subscribe them to the sns topic okay we'll repeat the same steps to create the sqs queue to create our two more standard sqs queues okay let me go back to the sqs okay create queue and uh, you can put the name web queue okay, and create queue and create another queue for mobile queue okay and uh, now let's subscribe to the amazon sns topic And we'll also do the same thing for web queue to subscribe this SNS topic. Okay, now let's verify the subscription. Okay, you can go to the home page and go to the simple notification service. okay click on the topics and here you can choose the resize images topic and click on publish message okay here in the message details there is a subject optional here we can type hello world and uh, in the message body for identical payload for all delivery protocol and here we can enter the message testing hello world or any other message that you would like to put okay and uh, in the message attribute you can put the type as a string and uh, name as the message and value as hello world and publish message okay message publish to topic successfully Okay, so to investigate the published message, we can navigate to the SQS 
okay let's go to the home page and select a simple queue service okay you can choose uh, any queue from the list and uh, you can choose send and receive messages okay and under the uh, receive message section you can choose call for messages okay and uh, here you can you know locate the message section and uh, choose uh, you see the ig uh, link okay so you can click on this okay and you see the details body and attributes of the message so this message uh, details contains the uh, json document uh, you know that contains the subject and message you know that we published okay we can see the body subject and uh, the message okay so you can click on done so we have uh, successfully published uh, to a topic that sends notification message to the queue okay so that's it in this video and i uh, will see you in the next thank you